up to you. A point of war is up to you. to convince a U.S. congressman not to oppose the president's accord with Iran. Congressman Liu, come out cheering for this resolution. Actually, the same war hawks who took us into war with Iraq are back again. They're spending tens of millions of dollars on slick ads, phone banks, lobbyists, to put pressure on members of Congress to once again choose the blunt instrument of war and military force over thoughtful diplomatic solutions. Congressman Liu. <laughs> yes, I'll stand up for We are here today. We are here today to deliver thousands of petitions, 2,500 from the families in your district. We are here to deliver a message to Congressman Liu and to all the undecided Democrats that this is one of the most important votes you will ever cast as a member of Congress. That's right. Amen. Republicans can't start their war without the help of a handful of Democratic members of Congress. Democrats 
who vote to help Republicans kill this deal and help start a war should expect to answer for that decision. But Mr. Congressman, if you vote to scrap this treaty, let us tell you, there will be no square one to go back to. If you burn this treaty, you burn up the whole board. Our allies will abandon us and start to trade with Iran, and we will be isolated in the world community. Congressman Liu, please don't let that happen. Please be the statesman we need you to be. Thank you. And why war? Because war is business. It's big business. Business that's so big that it outweighs life. And it outweighs the life of children, women. These war hawks look at war the way a gambler looks at a casino. <laughs>